I'm just so excited. I just found out that Seducing Mr. Darcy was nominated for a Rita Award, which is the most prestigious award a romance novel can win. And um, I'm in some pretty heady company, so you're gonna have to really cross your fingers for me. The award ceremony is in July. I'm very excited. Um, already picking out my outfit, you know, most important thing. Um, but um, I, uh, I'm just thrilled. I'd like to think it's because it's kind of a, a fresh approach to time travel. It, it brings together a couple disparate elements, I think, that are kind of fun. Well, I've, I've always been a huge, huge Jane Austen fan and, and maybe even a bigger Colin Firth fan. And I find that Colin Firth, uh, there's just something about him for women of a certain age, my age, um, that's just pretty magical. So, of course, I've watched the, you know, the six-hour um, A&E miniseries like, you know, 20 times. And uh, I thought to myself, wow, there's just, there just couldn't be anything nicer than being, a, you know, um, Lizzie Bennet in, you know, in, with Mr. Darcy trying to court you. And then I thought, hmm, unless it would be Mr. Darcy trying to court me or somebody like me. And then I thought, bingo, that's it. I have my heroine kind of somehow land magically in, uh, in, the, in the plot of the novel and uh, mess things up. Um, and when she comes back, she thinks that she's kind of just had this this like one-time adventure that hasn't really affected anybody except her and then she spots a copy of Pride and Prejudice and realizes that whoa, what transpired between her and Mr. Darcy has changed everything about the book so she's kind of in a in a bind at that point and has to enlist the help of a very Darcy like Jane Austen scholar who's visiting and um, he gets involved in the adventure too.